ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final JKWD podcast of 2020. How are you today, sir? As luck would have it, I am awesome. I am because, well, number one, I woke up. You know, this this whole waking up thing? Yeah. I love this as a practice. So I keep waking up and, and, and walking around on my own power and stuff. And it's just tremendous. It's a tremendous boost to my, to my uh, reality. But um, yesterday we had a little snow storm. Well, we didn't really have a snowstorm. Um, we got eh, where I am three, four inches of snow. But a lovely little town I like to visit, which is a mirror, just a little over an hour south of us, got like 44 inches. <laughs> that's almost as tall as me. I'm, I'm like, but that's not true. Wow. I am. So, now, don't get me wrong. I like snow blowing and stuff, but I'm like, it was 12 degrees or something stupid. So I'm really happy I didn't have to go out and do that. And aside from that, Life's good. I'm in good health. Still got a, still got got cute kids and grandbabies and 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 life is wonderful. Awesome. I got nothing to complain about. How about you? Things are great here. Um, you know, we uh, we say this a lot, but yeah, you know, there's no reason to to wait for the calendar to flip to actually start on. Uh, what you're doing, and yeah, a lot of people like to blame years for things. Uh-huh. Um, like 2016 was one of those years too. Um, I don't know if this just happens in presidential election years. I was, I was um, going to say it sounds, but but that was like the year that like David <laughs> Bowie and Alan Rickman died, and like there were there were like 20 famous people who made major contributions to yeah. um, the world of arts who all died that year, and it was like time for the next generation to take over or something, <laughs> and people were like, "Stop taking our people!" I'm like, oh, yeah, it's not like, it's not the year taking them. Like, you know, it's it's not the year, and and you know what? Yeah. It's, the same thing happened this year. And I know we're yep. going to talk about this more, like you know, after. But um, it, it's going to be nice to to see twenty twenty gone. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm if, gonna, you, if you if uh, you if you forget the fact that it's actually connected by breath and stuff, and that number on the calendar, we made doesn't up. mean anything, right? Um, yeah. yeah, we made that, we that's made all that up. Creation. Yeah, you're you're uh, you're absolutely absolutely correct. Yeah. Uh, so. so We're brought to you one more time this year by Vitamin K Daily. Get your daily dose of positive from the Prince of Positive himself, Kelvin P. Ringgold Sr., who's standing in a victory pose right now. Well, sitting in a victory pose. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So four weeks free. Wake up in the morning. Get your dose of how awesome today is going to be, Monday through Friday, five days a week, four weeks free. After that, just $24.95 a year. Um. We're going to see if we can talk Kelvin into uh, maybe jacking up the price in the new year, but um, you know, yeah. you, 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 you'd be exempt for now. Um, you know, get yourself four weeks free. After that, twenty four ninety five a year. That's nine and a half cents a day. If it's not for you, just cancel before your free trial's up, and you won't get charged one red nine and a half cents. And, um, yeah, that's vitaminkdaily.com. Philosophical supplements your attitude health. Let's do the show. Welcome to the Josh and Kelvin World Domination Podcast, where we talk about better humanhood and teach you how to dominate your world. Ready? Here we go. What's up? You know, I was, uh, I was you were talking about that one that red that red scent that and I, yeah. I was going to mention that you know cutting that penny in half is 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 cumbersome. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Uh, I should just make it ten cents a day. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Send me a dime. No. Nah. 3650 anyway. a year. Let's yeah, see. there you go. Yeah. Oh, hell, send me $100. I'll find something. I'll look. I'll find some kind of bonus to send you. I will. That's right. Goodness. So, um, but anyway. So, so, so 2020 is coming to an end. It um, is. It is. Uh, I know that I did not keep all my promises for the year. Um, although I, I got I got things in good shape. I um. <laughs> You know, I had come into the year hoping to bring some great things to my lodge as the as leader of the lodge. Mm-hmm. Um, and despite despite the challenges and the you know the things that uh, COVID stopped us from doing, um, including you know bringing new members in, uh, yeah, we weren't allowed to do that. But right. um, yeah, that was not one of my promises to the lodge actually. But we um, we managed to digitize. Uh, most of our history, um, get it online. we there were about 30 years worth of books we couldn't find. Um, oh, wow. but out of 180 years, we, um, we managed to do 150 years. Um, and, uh, you know, so, so we got that at least digitized and we're working on getting it online. Um, and then, you yeah, know, we, we, we moved, uh, the lodge, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, got us into a new building at a much lower rent, and <laughs> yeah, and and we brought education back into the lodge, uh, you know, which had been missing for a couple of years. So so I feel good about my year there. And uh, at home, I you know wanted to you know, get the garage converted into an office slash playroom. Mm-hmm. I did that. Um, and in fact, in the, you know, the last couple of weeks of the year, I managed to even get a, um, get a freezer in here. So we're starting to, um, yeah, the, we're actually recording 10 days ago. Um, by the time you hear this, um, so by the time this comes out, it'll be well stocked with, um, you know, cooked and portioned meats and, um, you know, there's already some rice in there and, um, yeah, like we're, we're getting stuff good. Yeah. The, the other, the thing that I had had promised, well, the two things I had promised were, um, that I didn't fulfill were, um, my running fell short. I, um, I had signed up for a couple of races. Um, they didn't happen, uh, be, because of COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I got, when I got, I got sick, sick for about four or five days and, um, they had been canceled already and I didn't come back to training for them. Mm. Uh, so, so that fell by the wayside. Um, and then, you know, I was writing this book and I got about 36,000 words in and realized that, um, I was doing it all wrong. Um, and that I had to come at it from a different direction. So I, uh, I've redone the, I've redone the outline and, uh, I'm waiting for some books from the library that I put on hold and just yeah, everything. Yeah. Cause you, you ran into some research issues that, that, uh, <laughs> modified some of the stuff you were, you were putting in it. right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's not even that I ran into research issues. It's more that I ran into, um, I ran into a problem problem. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, books like businesses, um, you're, you're looking to solve a problem, right? right? Uh, so I was having trouble defining the problem. Now I knew what the problem was that I'm trying to solve with this book. Okay. Uh, but I was having trouble elucidating it. I was having trouble putting it into, into words that like really frame it as a, as a problem that I could solve. Right. Uh, and then, so now I figured out, now I have figured out how to do that, but it requires more research. And I started to put books on hold at the library, but um, they no longer take a week to, to show up. They take weeks and months um, uh, because what happens is you, if, if you're the third person with it on hold, they, you know, they, they quarantine them for, for a few days um, oh. upon return. So yeah, if, 
you know, if the first, you know, if the book's in Atlanta and then somebody returns it, then they hold it for three days. They get it back into the system, find out, you know, the, the next person who's got a hold on it, you know, maybe they're, you know, maybe they're in Athens. So they get to mail it over there and mail's slow right now. Wow. So, yeah, then they Not get according it there. To, oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually Never got a, Sorry. I actually got a piece of mail from the post office that said, "Hey, by the way, mail is slow right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't expect anything to get anywhere fast." Um, and so I, they. Uh, I couldn't help it. I'm so. You know, they they go to Athens, and then you know somebody takes it out for two weeks. They quarantine it for three days, and they mail it off somewhere else. And then I, you know, so I got. I actually um, am sitting here with. Uh, three emails in my inbox. Hey, your hold item came in. Hey, your hold item came in. Hey, your hold item came in. So oh, when wow. we're done, when we're done here recording, um, I will probably get myself over to the library and, and see what's waiting for me. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so all in all, um, I'm going to call the, I'm going to call the year a win. Um, you know, my bank account is not where I wanted it to be, but you know, that some of that was extenuating circumstances. It's in a, it's in much better shape than it's in much better shape than it could be. And, and it's in a much better shape than a lot of people's are. And, you know, my fitness level is not where I want it to be. And that's entirely my fault. Um, and, uh, you know, talk on next week episode about how we get that better, but <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to call it. You know, for for all of its for all of its craziness, mm-hmm. um, in COVID and the Black Lives Matter protests and the um, locusts and the murder hornets and the you know human sized bats and the um, you know Saharan sandstorm that came over to the U.S. and the mutant ticks in Siberia for all that craziness and the disappearing monoliths. Don't forget the disappearing. Oh yeah, monoliths. oh yeah, the the monoliths. <laughs> yes, Remember astonishing. Le- you know, it's funny. Astonishing Legends, which is one of my new favorite podcasts, uh-huh. um, did an episode uh, on the first monolith, mm-hmm. and by the you know by the time between the time they recorded it. And the time that it came out, they had found four more. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It turned and, out uh, there was a plan behind all of that too. <laughs> yeah. Well, some of them, um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, aside from, you know, despite all the craziness, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to chalk this, this year up as a win. I'm not going to call it a, I'm not going to call it a route. I'm not going to go like, Hey, we beat the snot out of this year, but, but I think it came out ahead. How about you? Know, you? How about you? I, where where I, are you at with where you wanted to be? I, I am not even close. It's, aside from the part where I'm still breathing and I'm healthy and, uh, and, uh, and, and life is good. And I got a new grandbaby and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Life's life's okay. It's um, been a, I've had a lot of distractions. I mean, the one promise I made, which I feel bad about um, was to have my book out. And I feel bad about that on several, several levels. However, it's, it's, it's been a, it's been a busy year. We, we, we did have a couple of deaths in the family, not, I'm which sorry, that's, I'm not using that as an excuse because that had really had nothing to do with the book, but you know, it was stuff. And, um, COVID, I ended up spending a lot of time in the house just because that was the smartest thing to do. Um, unlike many people, I didn't suffer depression because I'm pretty good at being alone anyway. Um, but you know, there were, there were things I've been working on some self-development things and, and some mindset things that I've been going, th- going, going for. Um, the one thing that, that I have done is I have, as always, maintained consistency with vitamin K daily, which I think is probably the closest thing to a mission I have right now. And I keep giving words of wisdom and encouragement, and people keep thanking me, so I know I'm doing something right. So... As long right now, as long as I haven't I haven't 
flaked on vitamin K. I feel I did okay, but I certainly didn't have the uh, didn't have the uh, financial success I was looking for this year. But I have I have started a number of things. I know it sounds like I started a lot of things, and I do, but they're they're, they're mostly congruent. Um, and you know, I've distracted myself a lot. Um, for some reason, news came back into my life, which it's just, I don't know how that happened, but for a guy who had, didn't watch news really since like 1989, it's weird. It's evil news, as you know. How's that? Oh, sound I like mean, I mean it, <laughs> no. as somebody who's in no. the news for a paycheck, um, it's, uh, it, it, it's it, not it, evil, it, but I, it's, 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 it's one more thing looking for your attention and yeah. it's of the things that are looking for your attention these days, podcasts and TV shows and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and uh, whatever else. Um, it is the, it is the oldest. Yeah. And, um, and, 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 and as it. such the most practiced. And, 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 and they involve it and they, there's a lot of stuff in it. The other, my other point of consistency was hanging out with you on JKWD podcast. I yeah. haven't been, I haven't been consistent with my own podcast, but we as a team have been very consistent. And uh, as a matter of fact, there was a couple opportunities uh, that I was offered and I'm like, no, I'm doing a podcast with Josh that day. And this is this is our t- <laughs> this is our two hundred and thirty eighth uh, week in a row. Yeah. So I don't have all my consistency, but I've got our consistency and my vitamin K consistency, which are uh, the, the the two biggest things going on right there. And uh, like I say, um, it it wasn't a year; it was me. But I plan to to have some surprises for twenty twenty one. So. We're going to be going there. So, you know, I've, I've got other stuff that I'm, that I'm planning and planning actually a reuniting with a former persona of mine <laughs> <laughs> when I was out there in, in the streets and doing the speaking and doing the fun and doing a lot of stuff that I was doing. Um, and that's coming back in a, in a big way, I think. So stay tuned. Awesome. Stay well, tuned. Yeah, we we'll look forward to that. Um, you know, we're going to do our normal you know, kick off the year episode next week. But um, you know, I wanted to, to take a minute and and you know, I, I hinted at this before, but it, we have to we have to remember that with all the obstacles this year threw it threw at us, and you know, for you know, some people that was loss of income, um, you know, and and you know, a lot of people place their purpose in the, in their work. So, you know, it was also, you know, loss of job meant lo- loss of purpose um, for a lot of people. Yeah. And uh, there, for, for all the extenuating cir- circumstances, most of the things, you know, that, that we take upon ourselves are, you know, are, our health, our, our fitness, um, our own projects. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if we didn't, if we didn't get them where, where we want to be, let, you know, let's, let's take, you know, let's take responsibility for that and figure out how to, um, you know, how to, how to carry that over. Like where, where did we go? You know, where did we go wrong in, in, in aiming for our goals and, and, uh, you know, move forward with, and move forward with that and, and correct, you know, you know if we blame external forces, you know, we're just going to be looking for excuses rather than taking responsibility and moving forward with it. Well, and, and it's not even necessarily, uh, what do we do wrong? Like I said, I mean, things come up, the word pivot has taken on new, oh, new sure meaning this entire year, you know, it's like, what what do you do when, gee, if the bridge you're driving on happens to like drop out from under you, what do you do? You're gonna you're gonna pivot. <laughs> you're gonna learn to fly, hopefully, you know, so you can <laughs> get out of there. And we've had a lot of that. And for people who are 
for people who are really uh, accustomed to routine, oh, this year was the a things year that have happened this year have have yeah. completely abolished most people's routine. And if you've been doing it for a really, really long time, we're not always that good at at bouncing back when something we've been doing wrote. Yeah. It's kind of like, imagine if you had to suddenly start, you know, telling yourself when to breathe, <laughs> you know, that, that kind of thing. So it's, it's for some, and depending on where in the economy you look or where in the news you look, uh, a lot of that stuff has tried to reinforce that you are helpless and can't do a darn thing about it. Right. Well, which yeah, is not true. And then, you know, look for and look at the opportunities where you could grow from this thing. When we started this podcast, um, when we started actually, even before we started the podcast, when we were first meeting, mm-hmm. um, you suggested zoom, uh, right. as a platform. Now I had never heard of zoom at that point. I mean, that was some six years ago. Um, yeah, it was just starting to emerge as like mm-hmm. a Skype go to meeting competitor. Um, and yeah, not many people were using it. Um, you know, the, it was starting to get, it was starting to have some robust abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, even leading into this year, it didn't have much of the market share. I mean, a lot of it was still, um, you know, Skype for business and, yeah. and, you know, go to meeting and Salesforce, um, and and all of a sudden, um, yes, <laughs> all of a sudden, just Zoom was running every school in the country. Um, yeah, yeah, and except the ones that preferred Google, <laughs> right? Um, yeah. which was very few of them. Um, and you know, they had to figure out how to, you know, handle that security and they had to, you know, they more or less had to do that on the fly. They had to figure out their server space because, you know, they, you know, their, well, their, their users like that was unfolded very quickly. And if, if I remember correctly, like it did not go from well this research, first. they got between March and May or maybe uh, February and they got like 2 million new subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, like it was, it, it was, was not, it was not insignificant. And no. like, I mean, it, and, and not only was it significant, it was more than a lot of people would have been able, more than a lot of companies would have been able to handle. Couldn't have scaled uh, that. Yeah. And, you know, you know, they, they found out, that, you know, they found where their problem points were. They had to make yes, the meetings more did. secure. <laughs> they found that, you know, they had to make the meetings more secure. They had to, you know, and then, you know, they, they found out that, um, requiring passwords for meetings was easier than um suggesting them right uh, yeah well it, yeah they did that <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah but but they did it well and mm-hmm. uh, you know if if they can do it so can you <laughs> yeah absolutely you know you get together with people who who want to the thing is the focus has to be on what's next Right. Not on, not on what happened, you know, exactly. <laughs> What's next now? What right. Happened. You can, so. you can look at what happened all you want. You you can keep finding reasons to look back and look back and look back and look back, but uh, yeah, you can, you can go back to your What's next is a dude. second grade. You, know, art, you can go back to your second grade art teacher um, and, uh, and blame them for something. We, you know, we, we, uh, this is one of my things from the past, you know, the mind answers the question you ask it. You know, what happened is not a productive question because that doesn't help you. What's next? You know, how are we going to get out of this? That's the right. question to ask. You know, and, and who can help? <laughs> <laughs> Those are all things. So that's it. Just all right. Well, everybody, I hope that 2020 treated you as, as well as it um, treated anybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And that you uh, are looking at that in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I, I didn't want to assume that it treated um, anybody except maybe Jeff Bezos really well. Um, 
Yeah, he Jeff had Bezos a good and, time, didn't he? Uh, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. I mean, I, I, I bought $3 worth of Tesla stock, and it's worth like 40 bucks or something. Um, oh, wow. See, you should have like, put more in, huh? Well, I didn't have more to put in. <laughs> but <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, and and I, I know everybody started to get stuff from Amazon when they're like, no, you no, you probably shouldn't go to the store. Oh, well, thank God there's Amazon, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, um, hey, I want to um, just a quick shout out to, to East Shaver Bookstore. Mm-hmm. Uh, East Shaver Bookseller. Um, I won't get their name right. Because they they did this pivot where, you know, I've I've in the past gone in there and asked for a book. If they didn't have it, um, they get it for me and hold it. Right. Um, so I could get there to pick it up. But they... Um, they just decided to uh, implement an online store. I don't know if they went through Shopify or what, but um, yeah, I've been able to order some books uh, through my local bookshop, my local mm-hmm. independent bookseller um, online. Um, yeah. Through their own website. Yeah. You know, they didn't. Oh, cool. They didn't team up with anybody. So uh, yeah. Yeah. They're another company that, that pivoted this year and, you know, mm-hmm. we had a local, you know, Uber Eats competitor called Sav Takeout that did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, uh, yeah, they um, signed up more restaurants and you know kept a bunch of places open that weren't going to be able to hire their own delivery staff. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's more pivoting um, and companies that are doing well. Uh, but with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you for being here for another year, Kelvin. Um, thank you everybody for listening. Um, Hey, uh, if you go to um, ratethispodcast.com slash JKWD, you can uh, rate this show on your favorite platform wherever you get it. Um, that's new. Uh, we should start mentioning that at the top of the show instead of the bottom. And, uh, you yeah, because that's how people are going to find us in the, in the long run. Um, yeah, that and word of mouth. And Did we, we have to s- sign up for that? We did. We will <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening. Show notes and more at jkwdpodcast.com. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and share with your friends. And we will see you next week. A Better Humanhood Production.